All right, this is pre-calculus notes. Um, today was Monday, August 29th, 2022. And today we talked about um, powers of I. And um, beyond the, the normal pattern. So I'll say beyond the circle. And I think I already did the summary for today, but the general idea here, um, from, from yesterday, you'll remember, or not yesterday, from Friday, we had this circle where we would move up, we'd move down, we'd move down, uh, we'd move up, just in the circular pattern, and then it would just repeat over and over again, and you'd stay on the circle. And today I wanted to see what would happen if we chose something that would not start on the circle. So instead of starting at I, I may start up here at 2I and see what would happen. And... Uh, we didn't quite finish, but I would like to have um, a little bit of a description with our homework. So I had us start, and let me go ahead and make some axes. So there's our imaginary axis, there's our real axis. Um, I will label those real and imaginary, which is really the shadow realm axis. Okay, so I started here at, I want to say that that is 2i. And another way of thinking about that is that is 2i to the power of 1. That's just 2i. Um, what about 2i to the power of 2? Using properties of exponents, we know that that 2 should be distributed to the power for both of these 2 and i. So this is really going to be equal to, and I think maybe fountain pen would be better, just fountain pen. Oh yeah, that feels better to me. 2i um, to the power of 2 is going to be 2 squared times i squared, and 2 squared is 4. i squared is, and again, if you forget what i squared is, you can come back to the, the general pattern. i to the power of 1 is there. i squared is negative 1. So I can say that i squared down here is going to turn into negative 1. Negative 1. And if I multiply this together, I get negative 4, which is a, a real number. It's not an imaginary number, right? So it's on the real axis. And in fact, if this distance right here is 2, then I double that distance. And instead of putting that distance on the imaginary axis, I'm going to put it over here in the negative real dimension. And I'm going to say that that's going to be right about there, maybe a little bit more to the left here. Let's go a little bit here. I'll call that negative 4. All right. And then I want to see what happens if I do 2i to the power of 3. And again, using the properties of exponents, I'm going to have 2 to the power of 3 times i to the power of 3 to the power of 3 is 8, we all know, and i to the power of 3, again, if you forgot, you can come back to our unit circle over here, i to the power of 3 lives down here, which is going to be negative i, come back over here and say that is just going to be times negative i, and that's going to turn into negative 8i, and coming back to graph that, that's going to be down here-ish, I'm going to say right there is going to be negative 8i. And then that pattern can keep going. And then you can say that I can have 2i to the power of 4. We didn't go here in class, but I want to do it for the video notes in case anyone's watching. That's going to be 2 to the power of 4 times i to the power of 4. And that's going to be 2 to the power of 4. I mean, you can keep doubling these patterns. You can see it goes 2, then 4, then 8. And then you can tell, oh, this is going to be 16, right? You keep doubling that pattern. It's going to be 16. And then in terms of i to the power of 4, again, I'm going to come back to the old chart. And if it's uh, divisible by 4, it is going to be on this positive real axis, and it's just going to be 1. So I can come back down here and say, this is going to be just 1, which is just equal to 16. And if I try to graph that, um, I'm probably off the graph by now. I'm going to say 16 is probably right about there. 16. And I don't really have a, a full circle on this page. Um, if I were to actually sketch the circle, I wouldn't make this line. I would only say it goes point, then point, then point. It's like discontinuous. Um, but the general path was a circle. So let me make the general path over here and you can kind of see it. Um, the general path, I'm going to do a dashed line to let you know that this isn't really on, um, it's not part of the graph, but it's the way that you think about this. It's going to be this dashed line that comes here. And then it's going to keep coming around, getting bigger and bigger and bigger, dashed line. And then it's going to get really, 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 really big. It's supposed to be circular, but I know it isn't the best job of doing that. Maybe if I, can I redo these? Ah, no, don't undo that line. Just undo that line. I'm going to try to come out more in a circular pattern. 
Uh, I tried. But it does make a spiral. Um, the general idea behind this spiral is it just comes out bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I think it's a logarithmic spiral, though I'll, I'll have to check that. There's a few different types of spirals in mathematics. There's like the logarithmic spiral, which gets a really, really big, really fast. Um, there's like the, is it like a Fibonacci spiral? I can't remember. There's a name of a spiral which has this same consistent length, um, but I forget the name of that one. Um, ours is definitely not like that. Um, I can finally get to the checking your understanding problems. So we had two problems, and maybe I'll, I'll label this. I'm gonna do C, Y, U, check your understanding. Um, we had two problems. Problem number one was, um, i trying to remember, go away, notification. <laughs> Chloe just told me, I did the 238, I think. And then problem number two, I'm pretty sure that was three I to the power of four, I wanna say. Um, did I put it? I think I put it. Oh, I did. I did 2, 3, 8, 3, I did power 4. Isn't that what I just said? Three, okay, cool. I have those problems correct. So, um, I to the power of 238. Again, you want to figure out what is a number that is divisible by 4. That number I'm, I'm not too sure about. But if I can think of a multiple of 4, um, 6 times 4 is 24, which means um, 240 is divisible by 4. This is really close to 240. I know, I know that... I'll do this in a different color. I to the power of 240. Um, this 240 is, and it's important, is divisible by four, which means if I'm thinking about my, my chart, um, 240, or I to the power of 240 rather, lives right here, and then I can just go backwards now. Um, normally going forwards is going this direction. I'm gonna go backwards this direction. So going backwards is i to the 239, and going backwards again to i to the 238 gives us our answer. And notice that is on the, the real axis, so it is a real number, not a pure imaginary, and it's supposed to be on the axis, so maybe I should do a better job of drawing that on the axis. There, now it's on the axis. Um, and it's negative, negative real, negative real is a negative one. So the correct answer here is negative one. You can box it. If I hold this down, I think it makes a box, yay. And then um, number two, three to the power of four. So again, you're gonna be distributing the power of four. So this is really three to the power of four times i to the power of four. Um, three to the power of four is the same thing as three to the power of two to the power of two. Um, I instantly calculated that as 81. I just want to explain my work. 3 squared squared, again, you, you multiply powers when you have a power to a power, so I can undo that as well to get from here to here. Um, and then I can say, okay, well, well, 3 squared is just 9, and I still have to deal with this square that I haven't used up yet, so 9 squared, and then 9 squared is 81. Um, and I still have the i to the power of 4, i to the power of 4, i to the power of 4 to deal with. And again, I'm going to use that old-fashioned chart. Um, and I, I have this chart memorized. Anything is, that's four does come out over here to the right-hand side. Um, one, two, three, and four is that important one. So if it's to the power of four, we're going to get an answer of one. So I'll say, again, this is going to be equal to 81 times one, which is just 81. And I can final answer box that if I hold it down, mix a square, slash rectangle. And we have the check in your understanding work. Thanks for watching.